So now that we have Maya open, let's go ahead and take a look at the user interface, as well as some of the shortcuts and hotkeys that I'll be using. So here we have a viewport, and we're currently in the perspective view. So this is where we can navigate our camera around in 3D space. Now to operate our camera, we just need to hold down Alt plus one of the mouse buttons. So if we left mouse click, we can rotate our camera. Middle mouse click lets us track left and right and up and down. And right mouse click lets us zoom our camera in and out. So now if we go down to our standard four view layout, we can see we have a perspective, top, front, and side views. If we use the left mouse button, we can actually resize the windows to any size we'd like. One shortcut that I actually use quite often is if you click into one of the viewports, you can actually toggle with spacebar between the current viewport and your current layout. So if we open up a different layout, let's say the perspective view in the graph editor, and you push spacebar, you can maximize the viewport or the graph editor. So now let's take a look at the tool box. So here we have our standard select, move, rotate, and scale tools. So we can access these here inside the toolbox, or we can use the hotkeys Q, W, E, and R. So if we change this to object mode, and let's create a sphere. And we push Q, we can select the object, W to move, E to rotate, and R to scale. So now if you just wanted to change the size of the handles, you can use the minus key and the plus key to make them smaller and larger. This works for the move tool as well as the rotate tool. Now if we go ahead and delete the object, we can actually use Y for last tool and create another sphere or you can use G for last command and it'll basically do the same thing. So now over here on the right we have something called the channel box. So the channel box basically lists some of the basic attributes of the object. So we, here we have P-Sphere 1 and we have our translates, rotates, and scales. And if we push Control A we can go into the attribute editor. So the attribute editor is just basically a more complicated channel box um, where we have more attributes that we can go into. One of the more interesting features of Maya is that it uses something called marking menus. Marking menus basically give us easy access to virtually anything inside of Maya. To get to marking menus, we just right click on the screen. So if we go ahead and right click on the sphere, we open up its component selection tools. So we can select its edges, vertices, faces, and we can go back into the object mode to select the entire object. So the marking menu in this instance was basically a quick alternative to going up into the status line and selecting component selection and then selecting its vertices, edges, and faces. So another useful marking menu shortcut is to hold spacebar on the screen. This gives us easy access to things like the file menu up top and the viewport menus above the viewport. Now when using operators with the marking menus, like the spacebar, we're actually going to use the left mouse button to select our menus. If we go ahead and click in the center where it says Maya, we can actually jump to our different viewports, like the perspective view, the top view, the front view, and the side view. So this is actually a pretty cool alternative to just going with our four view layout and toggling with the spacebar. One of the interesting features of Maya is that it uses something called modules. We can access the different modules here in the upper left hand corner. So the menus from File down to Window will always stay the same. 
but the menus after window will change depending on the module that you're currently in. So what this does is it keeps the user interface clean. But sometimes it can be a hassle if let's say you're rigging and you need to switch between the animation and the polygon modules really quickly. Fortunately there's a marking menu to do this. So if we go ahead and hold H and left mouse click on the screen, we can select between the different modules really quickly. So if we go ahead and hold spacebar and then left mouse click to the right, we get a set of marking menus that lets us toggle on and off various parts of the UI. So we can go ahead and toggle the time slider, the shelf, and the toolbox. So this is a great way to create more real estate, but it's also a great way to just learn parts of the UI if you're not familiar with them yet. So another really great way to just really quickly get some real estate is to set up some hotkeys that will toggle on and off the entire UI. So let's go ahead and go to Window, Settings Preferences, Hotkey Editor. Then under Categories, let's go to Display. And under Commands, let's look for Hide and Show UI Elements. So let's set up the Hide UI Elements first. So if we go ahead and sign the key to be Z, and let's use the Alt modifier and just click Assign. Now for the Show UI Elements, let's go ahead and use A for the key and Alt for the modifier, and then Assign. And it says the hotkey is already assigned to toggle wireframe, um, but that's okay because I think this one's more useful. So now that we're done, uh, we could go ahead and use Alt-Z to hide the, to hide the complete UI, and then Alt-A to bring it back. So now we have a really quick way to get some real estate when we need it. So if we take a look at the sphere, we see there's no texture on it, and it's assigned a default Lambert 1 material. So let's go ahead and right-click on the sphere and assign it a Fong. Now we're going to place the texture inside the color node of the Fong material that we assigned the sphere. So if we go ahead and click on the box to the right of color, and let's give it a checker texture. So Maya has a few different shading modes. If we, we can push 4 for wireframe, 5 for shaded, and 6 to get our texture to show up. Then 7 is the shading mode for the lighting, but um, currently there's no light in the scene, so we just get a black silhouette of the sphere. So now if we want to undo, we can use either Control z or just push the Z button. Then the command for redo is capital Z, which is going to be Shift plus Z. So now if we go ahead and push 6 for texture mode, we can check out some of the different shading options in Maya. So now let's go up to the top of the viewport and under shading, let's turn on wireframe on shaded and x-ray mode. So basically these two shading options are great if you just want to see your mesh um, on top of your geometry. And the x-ray mode is good if you just want to see through your geometry to either make selections easier or um, just to get a better view of what's on the other side of your geometry. So let's go ahead and delete the sphere. And that's it. So this concludes our overview of Maya.